Hey guys, and welcome to Chemistry Stories from when I was younger. Today I'm going to tell you about a time that a chlorine-hydrogen explosion almost threw acid and glass everywhere. As a quick side note, do not attempt to recreate anything discussed in this video. This video highlights mistakes that I made when I was younger which could have resulted in serious harm. Always practice responsible chemistry and learn from the mistakes that I made. So this video takes place when I was 14, and as usual, I was conducting more dangerous chemistry experiments on my parents' front porch on my iconic cement brick. I mean, generating chlorine gas inside would be pretty dumb, so the front porch is a much safer place. Right? Well, probably not, but hindsight is 2020. Anyhow, this particular day I was working on extracting iodine from seaweed, which required burning seaweed, leaching the iodide salts from the ash, and then bubbling chlorine gas through the iodide solution. To make the chlorine gas, I concentrated some sodium hypochlorite bleach by evaporating on a hot plate, and then set up two Erlenmeyer flasks connected by some tubing. In the left flask, I first added sodium hypochlorite powder, and then added some hydrochloric acid to generate chlorine gas. The chlorine gas bubbled through the potassium iodide solution to generate elemental iodine, and everything went quite smoothly overall. I specifically wanted the iodine to make some shock-sensitive nitrogen triiodide, which I ended up doing later on. When I was done extracting the iodine, I still had a nice flask of chlorine gas though, and I certainly didn't want to waste it. Although steel wool burns nicely in air, it also creates a neat iron chlorine fire with chlorine gas, so I thought this would be an appropriate way to use the extra chlorine gas. I first decided I would react the chlorine with some hot aluminum, so I heated some aluminum foil in a blowtorch, and then inserted it into the flask. It burned nicely in the chlorine, and after a few seconds, part of the aluminum fell into the hydrochloric acid. I didn't think much of this, but in hindsight, the aluminum was reacting with the acid to produce hydrogen gas. Because there was still a distinct green-yellow color in the flask, I knew that there was still lots of chlorine, so I decided to burn some iron wool next. I heated the iron wool and then inserted it into the flask. Immediately there was a loud bang and flame shot out of the neck of the Erlenmeyer flask as the hydrogen and chlorine gas reacted explosively. The Erlenmeyer flask was cracked all over, but miraculously it remained intact. I was extremely fortunate that the flask didn't break and throw acid and glass shards everywhere. Anyhow, the moral of the story is to always be aware of what is in your reaction mixture and be mindful of side reactions that can occur.